Hi, my name is Thomas. I'm from Shelburne, Vermont, and I'm studying Construction Management and Sustainability. Hi, I'm Delaney. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm here studying Biomedical Engineering. We're sorry you can't come here and take a tour of our campus. But hopefully this virtual tour will give you a little taste of Florida Tech. So if you want to come with us on the trolley, and we're going to start our tour. So the trolley isn't just for campus tours. It'll actually make stops around campus daily for students at the dorm circle, the library, the dining hall, and the Biss College of Business. Now we're going to take you on a walking tour of our campus. Our first stop is WFIT. It's a public radio station in the heart of our campus. This is one of our student ambassadors, Annalie. Hi, my name is Annalie. I'm going to talk a little bit about Gleason, our performing arts center. A really cool thing that we have here on campus is that you can actually minor in music. This is our auditorium. We have our college players, which is our student-run organization here on campus. They host our musicals and plays throughout the year here. We also have our guest lecturers and some astronauts that come and visit us and give speeches throughout our time here at Florida Tech. We're on our way to the library, but first let's take a quick stop at the Link Building to meet Alora. Hi guys, this is the Link Building, home to ocean engineering, marine science, and my personal favorite, environmental science. In here you will find fish tanks, a bunch of labs, professor offices, and one of the best views on campus. Now we're at the Academic Support Center in the Office of Disability Services where Sydney's inside. Hi guys, I'm Sydney. I'm a computer science student from Columbus, Ohio. Um, I'm in the Academic Support Center. Here we offer free tutoring for students in all subjects except chemistry and math. Whether it's just to review for an exam or if you need help on some homework that you're struggling with, it's really easy to set up an appointment with one of our tutors and get some help on it. We also offer additional testing time if you need it or if you need to make up a test and you've missed it, then you can also do that here. This is Archit. He's here to tell us about the Evans Library. This is our Evans Library. The fourth floor library is open from 7 to 2 a.m. on weekdays. The first floor offers services like the iDesk, the library cafe, and a portal to reserve rooms throughout the library. The second floor houses the digital scholarship lab, a podcast studio, and our 3D printing station. The third floor hosts our largest computer lab with a mix of PCs and Macs. And the fourth floor is our designated silent zone with individual study pods and workstations. Isn't this pretty? George and Maya are gonna tell you about the Botanical Gardens. The Botanical Gardens are 15 acres of protected land here on campus, featuring many types of palm trees and other plants. This is a beautiful place for nature walks, photo shoots, or coming out and doing your homework in a hammock. Julia, Ollie, tell us about the rest quad. This is our Campbell Hall. It's our traditional style dorm here on campus. We have two people in a room that share a community bathroom. Behind me is Evans Hall. It's where we have our 24 seven uh, lounge for students here on campus. On the first floor of Evans Hall, we have the Rat Skeller, which is our main alternative to Panther Dining Hall for dinner and late night snacks, and the Black Hats Cafe, which is our dessert bar on campus. Here we have the English Learning School, uh, which is a program that helps international students transition into English learning countries. We also have our community garden, and this is where you can plant your favorite vegetable or fruit, and also continue doing your best sustainability efforts. Dan and Connor here are gonna tell you about an office that helps you transition into college life. This is the first and second year experience building. As a freshman and sophomore, you will be required to come here to help you with classes, scheduling for certain events that you might want to do, and some internships. Additionally, before the first week of school starts, freshmen will come to campus and members of Greek Life will help you move into your housing. During that week, orientation staff help you try to learn the campus and meet some of your peers by hosting some events. I highly recommend that you go to all the events. This is Columbia Village, a freshman-only apartment-style housing. Each apartment has four bedrooms and two bathrooms with a kitchenette and common space. My favorite part of this housing area is all of the laundry machines are on an app, so you can see how much time is left on your washer or dryer. Here's our student union building. It's a popular place for students to come and hang out during the day. Come on in.
Hi guys, my name is Tanner. And I'm Faith. And welcome to the Student Union Building. Upstairs, we have a couple things we'd like to talk about. One, we have our Hartley Room, which is a lot of big ceremonies happening. We have our cab, or also as Campus Activities Board, which we put on a lot of trip series like Disney, as well as a bunch of skate parks. We also have our Office of Greek Life, or Fraternity and Sorority Life, and we also have our Dean of Students. Right behind us is our Sub Cafe. A lot of students like to stop by here for breakfast or lunch. We have a salad bar, we have a grill, and we also have a sub making bar and bakery that also serves Starbucks coffee. Another office or a couple other things we have here in the student building is right behind us we also have the bookstore. Hi guys, I'm Trey. This is Julio again. And welcome to our Florida Tech Bookstore. Here at the bookstore you can buy, rent, or, or your textbooks early as well for your classes. Uh, also the bookstore also does price matching with Amazon as well. And this is also where you can buy our free attack merch. They have sales going on all the time, so this is usually where I can buy my gifts for my family when I go home for winter break. Ah, this is so pretty. George, Anneli, tell us about the academic quad. Our academic quad houses numerous classrooms, labs, and offices, most notably our president's office. Also in the quad, we have our chemistry resource center and our mathematics advancement center. They offer free tutoring for our students here for math and chemistry. Hi guys, my name is Tanner. And I'm Mitch. And right now we're standing in front of the College of Aeronautics built in 1991. On the first floor, we have our air traffic control lab, one of five main lecture halls and other classrooms. On the second floor, we have our professor offices, computer labs, classrooms, as well as our sim room. At Florida Tech, many students that participate in on-campus classes do flight instruction out of Florida Tech's flight line as well. Right next to the College of Aeronautics is the Crawford Tower. The Crawford Tower is seven floors of Common Core classrooms. It also has the Department of Communications and the Department of Mathematics. Right now, we're at Crawford Greens. This large green space is where a lot of our students hang out. We also have a lot of fests in here, like our homecoming fest. For our first stop in the Science and Engineering Complex, we'll meet with Connor and Annalie. This is the Olin Life Science Building. In this building, we house the Biomedical and Chemical Engineering and Science majors. Despite the size of this building, we only have two classrooms, which means the rest are all labs, including our microscopy center. This is our Olin Engineering Complex that houses the College of Engineering. On the first floor, you'll find our Makerspace, CAD Labs, Civil Infrastructure Lab, as well as our laser optics lab. On the second floor, we have our student lounge and some professor offices. And finally, behind us is a concrete canoe. It's part of the American Society of Civil Engineers. This past summer, in 2019, we actually hosted the National Concrete Canoe Competition. Florida Tech was the smallest school in the organization's history to host the competition here in Melbourne. Olin Physical Science Center houses the Department of Aerospace, Physics, and Space Sciences. In this building, we have classrooms, offices for professors, as well as laboratories to get hands-on experience as an undergrad. Some courses that you'll be taking are chemistry and physics in here. As an undergraduate, there's also a lot of opportunities to get involved with research with your faculty. One of the crowning features of the Olin Physical Science Center is the Ortega Telescope. This 0.8 meter telescope is one of the largest research telescopes in the state of Florida and is used for research and instruction for students and faculty here at Florida Tech. Along with this, they open it up once a month to the public during our public science lectures for public viewing. This is our L3 Harris Center for Science and Engineering. On this first floor, we have an aquaculture facility for our marine biology and fisheries and aquaculture research. This building also houses the computer science and engineering departments. There's plenty of opportunities for computer science majors to get involved in research, and we also have a competitive programming team and a cybersecurity team to get involved outside of the classroom. Right next to me is Pete the Panther. If you have a big athletic event or test coming up, it's good luck to rub his nose. Right behind him is the Panther Aquatic Center. The pool in the back is for the varsity swimmers and the pool in the front is for all students. The building to the left is the Clemente Center. On the first floor, you'll find our varsity basketball courts as well as recreational courts and a smoothie bar. And on the second floor is our student gym where we have free weights, ellipticals, and treadmills, as well as a bunch of free classes for students like yoga, intro to weightlifting, and karate. We also have the Panther Dining Hall. Inside the Panther Dining Hall, we have Panther Grocery, where you can get grocery items as well as made-to-order food. The Panther Dining Hall is a buffet-style eating place on campus. Um, in there, we have a salad bar, a sandwich bar, and a grill on top of all the main course meals that rotate every six weeks. This has been a fun tour, but I'm hungry. Let's eat. 
Thanks for joining us on this virtual tour today. We hope to see you on campus in the fall. Go Panthers! <laughs> hey guys, thanks for taking the tour with us. If you're interested in learning any more about the specific areas on campus, check out the description below.